Welcome back to Ferocious Education. This is Zet. Today I'm going to be talking about SPCE. So this is a full DD with technical analysis, and I'm going to go through uh, the company news uh, presentation, what I think about this company overall. I'm going to go through technical analysis as well. So at any point, if you feel you're missing out on the technical analysis I'm going through, make sure to check the video playlist in the description that explains each of these technical indicators and what they mean. Make sure to drop a like to this video to help the channel grow, subscribe, and leave your notifications on. Let's jump right into it. So on a one on one week perspective, what we get to see here is an MACD that looks like it has gone quite negative for a bit and then almost is curving back upward. Now that confirmation is not confirmed, but it looks quite flat on this period. So that does look positive in our sense. Well, that moment here looks like it's actually a little bit uh, choppy at this point. It's going back to hitting almost zero level or uh, around the 15.15 uh, on the momentum. So that's a little bit choppy here. Million percent R looks oversold. So that is a good position to be in. In terms of ADX, it shows in there is a possibility of a trend forming either ways. That doesn't tell us much, but the 10 SMA is above the 30 EMA on the one week perspective, and that does look bullish. If we were to look into a one hour perspective, what we get to see here on the MACD is that it has confirmed a reversal sometime on 8th of September jumped in from 1486 to 1871 within 24 hours you get to see here that the macd has gone quite strong positive and then is curving back down now whether this is more of a little bit of a choppy market uh we've been hit with a few red days or almost break even days so that could be the indication for it but it looks like it's attempting towards a negative reversal here volume seems to be steady on balance it seems to be sideways the adx suggests a sideways trade rather than an up or negative trend uh, trade only percent R puts this at a neutral momentum seems to be in the middle moving averages show that it's kind of bearish everything here looks bearish the stock price is below the 200 SMA the blue line below the 50 SMA 30 MA is below uh, sorry above the 10 SMA and the stock is below trading action zone now what could happen here is it could reverse sometime in the next week or so where the 10 SMA covers in above the 30 EMA and then it would be bullish but overall, it looks more sideways trading and a little bit of sloppy. Now coming into the one hour, and this is literally if you're trading for the next one hours or so, uh, we get to see here a Death Star that is hit at 10 a.m. in the morning that after a uh, stock drop. So that is an incredibly bearish sign. Everything else looks on the moving average bearish to the current time being, except that it is above the VWAP, which is bullish. Stock ADX shows that there is possibility for trend forming of recovery here. Whereas the green into tomorrow morning macd shows in as well a positive reversal attempt sometime in the extended market or tomorrow morning in terms of willing percent r it's sitting in a neutral and the momentum here seems to be quite strong now if we were to look into things like um, moving averages we get to see that the stock is expected to trade on 1549 in the middle um 1729 in the middle sorry 1729 middle 1549 in the bottom and 1905 on the top so that's the expectation on where it is supposed to be oscillating on but we get to see the unbalanced volume it's quite low and it's kind of dipping down all the way from where it was on the second 22nd of july if we were to look at charts we get to see a current resistance sitting at the 1653 mark over here then above that 1769 if we were to look into things like supports and resistances that are quite significant to us i'm going to be zooming all the way back to here we get to see a significant support happening in at the 1648 below that we're looking at 1640 below that we're looking at 1621 and 1601 seems to be quite of a strong one below that we're looking at 1592 if we were to look at resistances what we get to see is a resistance at the 1672 mark and then 1684 mark and then 1698 mark and then above that we're looking at uh, 1718 mark 1729 and then 1739 in terms of trends i could not find any kind of significant of a trend i mean there was perhaps a trend line that was formed somewhere around here but that did break through so um, i would not consider this one here on a trend we can also here look at the stochastic fast and slow and they don't suggest anything other than the stock is more of a neutral level um, it's a little bit towards the top, which is usually where you start seeing a drop down curve, which is a negative sign, but it doesn't tell us much this perspective. 
let's take a quick look into company news and what what is there to know about the company now in terms of institutional buyers it looks quite positive at the time being um, there's more additional to ETFs and index funds rather than investors but it looks positive uh, two Sigma here has closed their position they put a put and then they bought more shares so that is quite interesting for me but if we were to look into insider buyers you don't see any sales happening anytime recently I mean the last one was three months ago for around 12 million shares we're talking about they have around 1.16 a billion shares so that's still quite significant shares amount that they have if we were to look here onto their website we get to see a lot of different things happening here uh, you get news fly with us and a different buttons here that you can get to explore a lot more uh, in information about this company here now of course this is the Virgin Galactic we've heard about it before in terms of uh, space tourism and there is a future for this company on paper but let's try to look into what they have for us on the investors side so their CEO is Michael uh, Lazier, and we get to see that he's appointed on July 20, uh, July 20th, 2020. Vision commercial leader, most recently pres uh, president and managing director of Disney Parks International. We get to see some recent milestone space flight operations, flight test program, F FAA approval process, future astronaut pool and spaceship cabinet reveal. Advanced development initiatives include orbital human space flight and high speed point to point travel. Now, they did have six flights from the Spaceport America to VMSE EVE, two at VSS Unity flight for glide flight testing, and we have full a uh, full-scale exercise involving the loading of VSS Unity with, with rocket motors, flying the vehicle tanks with propellants, and pursuing. Now, if we were to look into their second Space or America glide flight on June 25th, they enabled certain vehicle systems to operate close environment uh, seen during the phase of a rocket boost and space flight and they achieved glide speed of 0.85 Mach after being released from the mothership. Now update on the FAA approval process, FAA previously issued launch license to allow Virgin Galactic to conduct space flight mission. The path to flying paying customers is through verification and validation program that contains 29 elements. Um, so there is a bunch of different uh, news coming in for this one. So there is updates on the Spaceship 2 cabin reveal on July 28th, 2020, S22. 12 windows around cabin provide a 360 degrees uh, view. So that is quite exciting. If we were to look down into, let's say, what are the next catalysts coming in? In the near term, we get to concept design and developments, the FAA for, uh, familiarization, established program partners, market assessment and business plan developments. Medium term, we get detailed design, com uh, commence first article manufacturing, flight testing, signing up launch customers. Long term we get F, uh, FAA certification, vehicle production and entry into service. Quite exciting here, we get to see for uh, the second quarter financials, they did have a net loss of 63 million compared to 60 million loss in quarter one. So they don't have any revenue yet, but their net loss is around 62 million, although their current cash is around 360 million still sitting. So Still no operations in terms of revenues, but they still are. Uh, they still have enough capital, raise capital, so that seems to be uh, fine with a lot of different investors. Their Twitter here is quite exciting. You get to see quite a nice updates through almost every day, so I'll definitely give it a follow if you're investing in the stock. Now going on towards what I think about the stock and the future that it has. Now, if you can get to see on the chart here, there's no different pattern, but on the MACD, it looks like it might actually be curving down. So that's a little bit of a dangerous thing that we're looking at on the one day perspective. Um, that could be a little bit dangerous where we go to the negative side. On the one week perspective, what we, we don't get to see much here other than it might be either leveling up or put a, uh, going backwards towards a uh, positive direction. Now, so that is more about good and bad news at the same time comes into what do you think about the stock in general if are you investing or are you trading if you're trading this one will trade sideways and you get to see it's trading sideways if you're investing this one seems to be doing all right i mean ever since the ipo came out probably somewhere around 12 dollars is still above there um space tourism might be the future for a bit of tourism there uh, that could be a possibility but it's basically if you're investing you're thinking about that idea as if it is the future so that is up to you but 
for the time being it looks like a trading sideways with the potential off going upwards. What do you think about this stock? Make sure you mention it down in the comments below. Share, subscribe, and like. You have a wonderful day.